Good morning, Mets fans, and happy Monday, and welcome to Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and despite the gloom in the air outside today, not, not a very nice looking day, it is actually a good day and a happy day in Metsville because last night it was not yet quite officially announced, but pretty much confirmed that the Mets had uh, made an offer to uh, Mickey Callaway to be the next manager of the team, and the reports are that he has accepted said offer. So uh, despite the gloom in the air, it is a sunshiny day in Metsville. I do have to say it's, it's a little bit funny that Mets Twitter is reacting as only Mets Twitter can react to this uh, this decision and this um, this selection of Mickey Calloway as the manager. Um, I'm I consider myself to be a very knowledgeable Mets fan um, and a pretty knowledgeable baseball fan. Uh, at that, I, I I don't think I'm a casual fan by any stretch. So um, if anyone. If, if any kind of fan should know a lot about Mickey Calloway, it should be someone like me who follows the team, follows the game really closely. Um, I know next to nothing <laughs> about Mickey Calloway. Other than that, um, as the pitching coach for the, the Cleveland Indians, he really made superstar pitchers out of three guys who really prior to his arrival um, weren't superstar pitchers. It's Corey Kluber, uh, Danny Salazar, and Carlos Carrasco. Now, these three guys have had career resurgences underneath uh, the tutelage of Mickey Calloway, and uh, the fact that he's going to be coming in to manage the Mets with, a, a, quite frankly, a more talented crop of arms, uh, to me, is a really positive sign. But back to my original point, Mets Twitter has overreacted like crazy on this, um, complaining that this was a bad move, complaining that this is not the right guy to, for the job, complaining that he's not ready to be the manager, complaining that he doesn't know New York, and it's just sort of like, dude, you, we, no one knows about this guy, no one knows anything about him, other than that Sandy Alderson decided that this was the man who he wanted to manage the team going forward, that's all we really know, and I, I'm of the belief that the Mets need to... Uh, you to sort of make decisions like this and stick to them. And they don't need to explain themselves. This is the guy, period. That's it. And Mets fans need to just kind of get on board with that and deal with the fact that just because you've never heard of the guy doesn't mean he's not going to be a great manager. It also doesn't mean that he's going to be a great manager. But the point is we don't know. No one knows at this point what Mickey Calloway is going to be as a manager. Um, just as we didn't know what Kevin Long was going to be. And, you know, the, the, everyone's freaking out about this stuff because it's not a big name hire or whatever. I, I just think it's the most foolish overreaction or misreaction uh, as, as humanly possible if you would consider Mets, Mets Twitter to be humanly, uh, which clearly it's not. But in any event, um, back to Kevin Long, I mean, since I mentioned him. Um, <clears throat> over the weekend, it, uh, it came out that Mickey uh, Calloway was going to be the manager um, and that Kevin Long was a very close runner-up. It's also been announced that despite the fact that Long's contract expires, the Mets do want him to stay with the organization. So I suspect that Kevin Long will be extended another um, contract to be the Mets hitting coach uh, and remain in that role. Um, I've also heard that Pat Rossler, his assistant hitting coach, will uh, be sticking around as well. So um, I personally, I hope Kevin Long accepts the job, um, and and I hope he doesn't end up taking a managerial opening someplace else. Um, if he's able to find one and they offer him the job, I, you know, and, and, and he leaves, please, Mets Twitter, don't overreact to that. Don't blame him for doing that. It's what's best for him in his career. He wants to be a manager. Um, he should take an opening if he can find one. Uh, that, of course, would leave a vacancy uh, in the Mets um, uh, coaching staff. But look, you got a new manager coming in, and it's very likely that he will want to make some selections for his coaching staff. I mean, it is, after all, his coaching staff. The one that I'm going to be looking most closely at will be um, the bench coach, because I, I really think he's going to need to have a um, an in-game type uh, strategist as a bench coach. Um, but I'm 
very much looking forward to what Mickey Callaway is going to bring to the table and how his expertise in the pitching realm is going to translate over to the young Mets pitchers in 2018 and beyond. Um, one quick final note, um, another reason perhaps that the, the sun is shining a little bit more brightly in Metsville is the fact that the Yankees were eliminated on Saturday night and will not be going to the World Series. So the Astros advance to face the Dodgers in what should be a really entertaining World Series. And despite the fact that it's hard to be a Mets fan and um, dealing with the fact that you'll always be in the shadow of the Yankees, I do have to tip my cap to the New York Yankees. Um, this was a team that wasn't supposed to be where they are right now. Um, not that unlike the Mets in 2015, where they just sort of like kind of came out of nowhere. You know, with the Yankees, you saw that there was some talent there, but you didn't think they were going to have it all, you know, all the pieces together and ready to really compete this year. They did. They fought. They clawed. They played um, They played some really good baseball uh, over the course of the three uh, playoff series that they played in. So I do tip my cap to the Yankees. And that being said, I do hope that what, befit, uh, what befell the Mets in 2017 happens to them in 2018. I'm kidding. I don't really want anybody to get injured, except maybe Brett Gardner and Gary Sanchez, just because, you know, they have punchable faces. But, uh, I'll leave that to Twitter. Uh, thanks for listening and watching today. I do appreciate it. Um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.